Today's video is about cradle cap, a common problem in babies. Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, every week a health related topic is explained via a video. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new content is released. This week's video is about cradle cap. Cradle cap, otherwise called as infantile seborrheic dermatitis or honeycomb crust or milk crust is the presence of yellow greasy scales on the baby's head. They might be greasy or sometimes dry. What is this due to? Exact mechanism is still not clear to the scientist but what has been identified is the two causes associated with cradle cap. One is the increase in the secretion of sebaceous glands possibly due to hormonal reasons because it happens soon after birth probably because of the maternal hormones and may also occur during adolescence and the second reason is increase in the number of an yeast called malassezia furfur which is normally present in the skin associated with an increase in this yeast count you may get this cradle cap this is very similar to dandruff which happens in older age group so this cradle cap first of all we have to understand is not dangerous it is not itchy it is not painful it is not infectious or communicable so it is not spreading from baby to baby and we have to realize that it doesn't happen due to poor hygiene or because of allergy so we have to remove all these myths so it is essentially a normal newborn problem happens within two to four weeks after birth peaks by around three months may present till one year of age rarely it may go beyond one year but usually most of the babies have resolution of this cradle cap by one year of age there are thick adherent greasy scales no adherent to the scalp they may also be present behind the ears eyebrows near the nostrils in the armpits groin areas in the diaper areas so it may also be present there as i already said this is essentially harmless so how to get rid of this by using a normal baby shampoo more than what is usual probably if you have the habit of giving a head bath once in a week probably do it twice or thrice a week using the same baby shampoo which you are using the baby will get relieved of this soon even without treatment as the baby grows this will get better as the baby is not having itching you need not do anything but if it is severe what can be done you can apply oil to these scales you can apply oil like vegetable oils like olive oil baby oils any of the baby oils recommended coconut oil you can soak them either for 15 to 30 minutes or even apply them overnight but you need to essentially wash the hair after this application otherwise this presence of oil itself will aggravate or worsen it you can gently brush the baby's hair to remove the already dried plaques but don't try to pick these plaques if you try to pick these plaques it may leave a raw area where you can have secondary infections and you can have complications so you need to be very gentle you can use a soft baby hair brush and just gently wipe over these areas if these are extensive you need to visit the doctor they might advise you with slightly more stronger shampoos or creams or lotions to get rid of this anyway totally this is a harmless problem but if the baby's skin is red if the baby is having itching so the baby is fussy or crying because of this it denotes some other different problem or a secondary complication the baby could be having other forms of eczema like atopic dermatitis which is extremely itchy so that's why the baby is fussy or the baby might have developed secondary infections where some plaque was you no know, removed you no know, with force and there is a secondary infection if these are there you need to visit the doctor 
Otherwise, this is essentially a cosmetic issue, not a real issue. As the baby grows older, it gets better, it gets better and better and the baby is completely devoid of this. Some babies, while this you know, scales fall, may have hair fall associated with it. Again, this is harmless. The baby's hair will grow again. No issues. You need to just wait it out. Friends, this was a short explanation about cradle cap. If you like this video, share it among your friends and relatives. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again. Bye.